Hi, in this video, we are going to understand how to use the overlap feature. Using this particular feature, we, are, we can actually have multiple teachers in a particular period or we can actually combine the classes, merge the classes. So we are going to understand all that in this particular video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two new teachers. That is teacher is Rajesh and another teacher is maybe Swapani. Okay, so these are the two new teachers and then obviously I have to configure them. So I'm going to give them subjects. So I'll take that is uh, Rajesh and I'm give him the period that is music. I mean the subject and uh, to Swapanil, I'm going to give him drawing. Okay. So these are the entries out here. And then we will go to the class configuration. Now what I want is, I want maybe, you know, uh, multiple teachers in one particular period. That is what I want. So we will, we are going to achieve that first. So we will see the class configuration. Last time we had the class configuration. So this was the configuration. And what I'm going to do is, Vijay that is art. So I'm going to combine arts, uh, drawing and music together. And they're going to be in one particular period all three teachers in one particular period because there are situations where the teachers i mean the school they want that you know multiple uh, teachers in one particular period because it is quite understood by them that they're going to have it in a rotation means first week maybe uh, art second week drawing and the third week music and it actually goes in a rotation so that is uh, how the you know certain schools they need such a thing so I'm going to do that, okay? So what we need to do is, we need to delete this entry, that is Vijay Arts. I'm going to delete that entry. And I'm going to add this entry again as an overlap, okay? So I'm going to say two, and I will not click over here. I will click on this particular button that says add as overlap. And you can see that is overlap entry out here. Now what happens is the overlap entries never gets counted in these slots now there are 42 slots available since i deleted vijay so there are now you know i have 40 slots basically so two slots are uh, yet to get filled but i'm not going to fill that because that particular entry is as a overlap so overlap as many entries as you can feed in that will never show out here because since if you fill 42 completely if you fill it out uh, 42 slots after that it will not take any other slot for the normal entry but for the overlap it will take the entries okay so you need to be careful actually why because uh you know it's understood by me that these are like 42 slots but it is only showing me 40 slots why because two more slots are that i have done that as an overlap because i'm going to club them with other teachers now for example i'm going to have rajesh that is music and again this actually goes as overlap and you can see there is no effect over here but then the entry is present as an overlap and then same goes with Swapnil okay that is drawing and add as overlap now what happens is it is understood by me that these three teachers that is Swapnil, Rajesh and Vijay are clubbed together they are in a group basically and they are going to be in one particular period uh, together okay so basically if you group this together they make two periods together actually and that is the two period that I adjusted over here. So 40 plus two, the two is of this particular group, the group of three. So I need to adjust that because this entry of 40 is a normal configuration and uh, two more entries are belongs to actually to this particular group. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for class 1C as well. So I'm going to delete that entry and i'm going to add okay so is already selected so just add as overlap then goes uh, pj that is arts add as overlap and then goes uh, that was oh so is already there and uh, rajesh so rajesh that is music again i will add that as that as overlap now what happens is if i go to the timetable okay and uh, I will select the class and the section and I have deleted the timetable out here. Okay, we have the timetable. I will just delete this. Delete all. 
okay i'll delete in fact i will delete the all the classes okay now i need to choose this again just a minute and again 1p okay now what i'm going to do is i need okay the arts drawing and uh, music together on monday last period so i'm going to add them okay so i can individually add this okay i'm going to individually i can add this this is how i can do it or i can simply just delete the entries and i will simply click over here that is this i mean that is the seventh period not the eighth period seventh period so simply click on that and click on you know arts so what is going to happen it is going to occupy the, all the two slots same way i can do it for rajesh and these are like overlap so they're going to be together actually and then swap new so you can see all the three subjects that is arts music and drawing are together and they are on monday seventh period tuesday on seventh period right rest of the timetable now basically say how many slots is occupied it occupied two slots and now for the 40 slots we can remaining 40 slots we can actually auto generate so this actually becomes fixed you know it will never move from its place so if you are in a situation where you need to fix a particular subject to a particular period so it's better to add that as an overlap then manually add that particular subject wherever you feel like and then auto generate rest of the timetable now this is quite understandable that you know uh, vijay rajesh and sopnil they are actually clubbed together okay now let us go and see uh, the timetable teacher wise and i will just try to check that is the not aditya it is rajesh so you can see that is 1b music for rajesh and for swapnil it is showing me drawing and for that is uh, swapnil rajesh and bj right that is arts right again i will go back to the timetable class wise and this time i'm going to select one c okay one c and the same thing i'm going to do over here i'm going to fix them at fourth period okay and uh, for arts and then for music so what happens is in one c basically they are fixed in fourth period and one b they are actually fixed in if i go and check they are fixed in the seventh period over here you can see okay these are the two ones and one c i've just fixed them and then rest of the timetable i can auto generate and this will never move from its place so if you want a situation where you want to fix a teacher so better to add that particular teacher as an overlap fix that but you should make sure that you have to adjust that with your slots that are available just like what over here i did there were 42 slots but i only configured 40 slots those are the normal slots and the rest of the two slots i actually combined them okay so that you need to take care of so we have this now right two periods out here now what if if i you know want them like to be clubbed together so i want one b and one c basically are going to be combined for these three subjects that can be a situation right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this particular class and section and i'm going to add them exactly at the same period and for the same day so i will add them over here and to vijay and to rajesh now what does this mean this means that uh, these three teachers are actually going to have a combined classes for 1b and 1c and that also in a rotation that also in a rotation right so now rest of the timetable i can auto generate okay so here is the timetable in front of you so now we will you know it's very interesting to see what happens with the uh, teacher's timetable so i'll go and check for sopnil first and you can see what it is showing me is okay it's not getting it's not uh, 
you know in quite a but readable form this is one and one this is class one b one c and the subjects are drawing drawing so it's getting repeated okay we are just working to you know make it display in a much better form so it's quite well understood but this is one one there's one b one c and drawing drawing and same if you see for rajesh it will be the same thing so one b and one c because it's a combined class right so this is how you can do so if you have a situation where you need to combine the classes you need you need more than one teacher in a particular period or you need to fix a teacher to a particular location to a particular slot then better to add that entry as an overlap manually add that particular entry wherever you want and the rest of the timetable you can auto generate so this is how you can use the overlap feature effectively okay so that's it we will have some more situations coming up then i will take the next video bye for now